Well, it's springtime, and unfortunately, that means keeping an eye out for ticks. We deal with them every year, and preventing them from spreading Lyme disease and other illnesses is important. This year, we have to watch out for a new kind of tick. TJ Del Santo talked to a local tick expert and tells us what he found out. New at 6. The number of tick reports has risen dramatically over the last several weeks. Now is the time to start thinking about tick prevention. More and more people are headed outdoors, doing yard work and taking hikes, but beware, ticks are active too. Right now, the adult stage ticks are the ones that are active in April and early May, and they are waiting for hosts to come by about knee level. It's recommended to have tick-resistant pants to try and keep these bugs from crawling up, which all ticks do. Later in the spring, the poppy seed-sized nymph stage ticks come out, and spraying shoes with permethrin can repel little ones, which often attach at shoe level. Daily tick checks are also important, including on the back of the neck, under the hair. And now, a new kind of tick is emerging. We've been keeping an eye on this Asian longhorn tick. It's it's, an, it's um, sort of a new invasive foreign tick. This new threat is coming up the I-95 corridor with high concentrations now in New Jersey and New York. I mean, we don't really know how risky it is. It's interesting that unlike the black-legged ticks that pick up their germs from rodents, this tick doesn't seem to like to get on rodents. We do know how risky the native ticks are, and there'll be plenty this spring. If you'd like to learn more about how to be tick smart, we put that information on our website at WPRI.com. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.